first day of the cruise and you knock in your head. Boom! Yeah, that's a glory. That's a vista. Look at that. Vista. Somebody did a lot of box. Two years of making. got here we are on the carnival vista and we're in our room it's a mighty nice room so i'll take you on a little quick tour the room oh it's awfully dark over here let me see if this is. light switch hey we got some light there we go you can see me all right so i'll take you on a quick uh, tour of the room our luggage hasn't come in yet and just chill it so anyway let's in here this is our bathroom over here you can see it's got a vanity and a special Havana suite toiletries see look at that Let's focus there we go because the cool cap on it and stuff looks like metal the safety label there you go but Havana stuff it's all different smells the conditioner shampoo or conditioning shampoo is Juniper and the hair, the body wash hair gel, body and hair gel, the sage. So we'll check that stuff out later. You got your shower here. And every shower in Carnival Cruise Lines comes with shampoo and body wash in it. So if you forgot that, you don't necessarily need to bring it with you. Then we got our couch with all our stuff on it. Got her bed. I love the coloring in here. The vanity for if you do your makeup. The uh, the uh, that Brian guy. Official. Look at that. They put that in the room. It's pretty cool. Only in this room. And then the piece to the resistance. The one. The only. Balcony. There's an rock dive chair. Regular chair. And a swing. There's the missus. And a cell phone. Look, comes with a cell phone. And this is the view. This is the view that we have. Oh, look at the fog that I'm getting from the cold. And next door we got the parents. Say hi, Dad. Hey. <laughs> One thing you need to remember is these doors lock when you close them. Oh, you got a key card to unlock them and to let you back in. So, but we got a gate that leads us down the walkway to the pool. Say hi, Mom! <laughs> oh, one thing I forgot. They include in this room these Savannah rooms. Hey, slippers. And just in case you're wondering. I am wearing them. Look at that. Slippers. So, anyway, we're going to check out the pool. Alright, we have our own pool deck. Comes with a complete with a hot tub. i got to get changed to get in the pool. Look at this. The hot tub. The carnival glory. 
in the pool. Wow. Look at that. It's not completely full yet because this white, the blue area here will have water in it later on. So that way we can sit in it with our feet. <laughs> Alright, we found the guy's burger joint. Fries. That is the pork patty. Let's see here, pig patty, I mean. Right there. It's a patty made of just bacon. Then brief. I got salted mushrooms and onions and hand cut french fries. Dog sauce. So let's see what this thing tastes like. Alright. First taste of the burger. See me okay? Oh, yeah, you can see me. There we go. And, uh, Where's the silver? The guy was. Know, right? It's right where you used to get in line for your burger. The guy was busy over the water, so we got you iced tea and lemonade mix. That works. <laughs> Look at her thing. That was style. Are you okay over there? That's a good burger. Alright. That was a really good burger. You took a bite home. Are you filming? That's a good burger. Here's what I am. Brown enough. <laughs> Thank God. Ooh, I feel the best. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mine? Alright. Mm -hmm. Well, did it. Finished the whole thing. That was a pretty darn good burger. Let's see, flip this thing up. There we go. That was a pretty darn good burger. So, we eat more of those. Yeah, that one drops and goes underneath, and you go, oh, that one drops later on over there on the other side. Yeah, go around the corner. That's pretty cool. Sky bikes. Yeah, we're up on the sports deck now, just wandering around, because we're stuck here until 10 tonight, so we're just having a little bit of fun. Wandering around the boat time, listening to music. Uh, Norwegian's gonna turn around now and come back. Yeah. Oh, the glory's pulling out. It's so, the exit's over there. Yeah. Then why would it go down that way and turn around? Well, he was facing in this direction. There's probably no rope. Ah, uh, to actually pull it out and spin it? Down there and it's gotta leave too. You can see the heel. Yeah. Or whatever it's called. Hi Felicia, our ship is way freaking cooler. Yeah, but they're getting to leave. They don't have any slides. That sucks. No slides on that one? Compared to me. They don't have any slides. Well, that sucks. We got sky bikes. <laughs> that was awesome. One more, one more.
<laughs> That's the coolest hand washing station ever. one of those in everywhere. You walk in there and you get to wash your hands. Heck right. Good morning from day two on the Carnival Vista. It is about 6.30 in the morning, give or take a few minutes, and the sun just rose. We're out on the water, and I'm sitting on our little deck here outside of our room. But what I am seeing right now in the view is the sun just came up. As you can see, it's a nice golden glue on my face. Um, but outside of here, if I turn this around, this is our view. And there's the sun. It is a remarkably beautiful morning. It's nice and cool outside. And this is what we're seeing. Just take that in for a second. I appreciate that. There's the sun coming up out of the water. We'll put it there in the side frame. There we go. As you can see here, that is why I like cruising. This relaxing time early in the morning when no one else is up. So, let's get this day started. Because I need some coffee. And I brought my cup. Getting ready to replace some clue. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Great place, clue. So, it's a game that's going to last us all cruise. The last day of the big reveal. It's the last fun day at sea. It's Colonel Mustard. For the butler. The butler has always done it. It's always the butler. Colonel Mustard in the library with a knife. It's always the butler. Even though the butler's not an option, it's always the butler. Is it the professor? I think it's the millionaire. It is Miss Scarlet. Marianne. Ginger. It was Ginger. Definitely Ginger. Gilligan. Three hour tour. Anyway. By the way, you're going down. Just throw it out there. Make sure you keep your clue case files close, partner, as you will be the detectives as crews. Sit back and relax as the Cardo Vista presents Clue. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sad that we've been gathered here today. <laughs> but 
unfortunately last night somebody here murdered Mr. Body. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> now, I'm here to let you know that Mr. Body was a beloved crew member here on board, and actually he was in training to be an amazing person here. His dream was to be a captain of a cruise ship. He was already a captain of the Lord, but he... An award-winning captain from the America's Cup. And he was... He really wanted to be the captain of a cruise ship, everyone, and he was well on his way, learning about all the different departments here. <laughs> Now he was going well on his way, learning about the different departments. <laughs> and we were up to the bridge. Now he was almost there, but he was loved by many, but he hated by a few. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gunnar And I'm your security officer on board the carnival of this. Duh. Now, I take my job very, 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 now, when I met Mr. Buddy, he said he wanted to change all these security protocols, change everything, and I was furious! He made my blood boil! But I didn't do it. <laughs> One thing you need to know about Colonel Mustard is that he was on duty the night of the murder. <laughs> And the only revolver on the ship is in the security office. And it's now missing. <laughs> Colonel Mustard was in charge of the key that night. Car Colonel Mustard! <laughs> Colonel Mustard, where were you and your mustache the night Mr. Body was murdered? Don't you remember? We were alone in your cabin, chiropracking a dancer who told me to push it. <laughs> Did a little venture into cherry on top. There's some very interesting things in here. Um, let's see, it. Let's see what we got. Alright, oh, get close, get close. Alright. Gummy turtles. Mm -hmm. Gummy funnels. All different things. Oh yeah. So I guess you can fill it. Best lollipop in the world. You What's this? It? You fill it with candy? <laughs> yes. How much is that? Sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars to fill with any candy. That's when you go with gummy and just pack that thing full. We got Wonder Balls. Oh my gosh. It's Shopkins. Shopkins? We gotta get you that. Before we leave. Giant gummy bear. What do you got? They have the strawberry popping candy. Oh my gosh. Strawberry shopkin. Strawberry shopkin popping candy. Ugh. It's a tree. Cherry tree. All the different candies. And then I saw this. Jelly Belly did it again. Draft beer flavored jelly beans. Oh yeah. Definitely gonna have to get myself. Some of those. Just Lord knows. I love me some beer. Look at that. That is so cool. Looks like liquid metal. That is. They change everyone's home. Here we go, get you a better view of it. It just looks like liquid metal. And it's just bouncing from the bottom to the top. Two days in a row. Two day, C days in a row, yes. 
So we got to figure out how to entertain ourselves for two sea days in a row. Oh, I can entertain myself. Oh, we'll entertain ourselves. But first, camera change. Decided to come out to the pool. And this is the view from outside. Back into the boat. You can watch it as it goes down the water. She'll do that. Mom's not getting in. We're all in the pool now. <laughs> Dad. We just decided to float around like a bunch of turds <laughs> in a pool. Turds <laughs> float. <laughs> Alright, so this is a Havana bar area. You can see here, being a Havana Cabana uh, person, you get this whole area to yourself until 7 p.m. When it opens up to everybody else, you have to have one of these cool wristbands. You can't quite see mine. Uh, I'll show you later. Give me a second, let me loosen up my wrist strap here. And I'll show you the wristband. Up there is a hot tub. Over there is a hot tub. And this, I feel, is a little bit more serene than the Serenity deck. Oh yeah, here's the wristband. And you just get this whole area to yourself. There's like nobody out here. There's, a, and there's only like 130 people that have the ability to come out here. So, a bar. It's pretty nice. Probably one of the best features of this ship. And I do recommend getting the Havana Cabana room. Or even the balcony room. Because that's what we have is the balcony. Now. Right, so that was the best part of this whole experience you can see here. Walking down the Havana walkway. Better look out. We're heading back to get changed for dinner. And then it's off to dinner for formal night tonight. But first, we have to get changed. And then, camera change. <laughs> Love you. Right now it's just finished raining. And uh, we got what golf course. So, but it's formal night tonight. Everybody's all gussied up. We're not. We're comfortable walking around post rain and enjoying it as we go past Cuba. day and this is what we woke up to. 
Yeah. Look at that view. Mountains in the distance over the water. That is nice. Absolutely beautiful. And off in the distance there. See if I can zoom in on it. Oh, there's a boat. Man, look at those. This is the most land I've seen on a cruise. So for a real quick look to where we are right now, you can see here, we started out up here. It's not showing you right now, but Miami's up that direction. We are currently, oh, here we go. Look, Miami's right here. And we drove or cruised past Cuba. We see Cuba all day yesterday. But right now we are here and that's Haiti right next to it. So that's the island or the mountains that you're seeing right there in that last shot so you get an idea we have traveled on the depth of the sea is at seven point or seven nine and you can see that's our position we're going 18.5 knots I have no idea what that means but right now we're getting hit in the front of the boat well off to a little bit of the side with a 19 knot wind and you can see here there's Haiti that's where we are, so you know if there's any questions. So let's get going because I gotta get better pictures or a better video of that mountain range out there. It is beautiful. Anyway, let's get back. Yeah, well, yeah, there's a little bit of a better view of those mountains. That is. Some of the mountains are over a mile now. Yeah. That's so cool. Let's see if I can zoom in a little better. So I guess the lowest point in Haiti is sea level, obviously. And the highest point is over a mile and a half tall. See the Haitian island there. It's impressive. First time I've ever seen that on a cruise ship. slide time. We just ate breakfast. And now it's time to go to the slides and have a little bit of fun. But first, camera change. Alright, slide time. Going down the kaleidoscope slide. Had to get a wrap. So I know we're going upstairs. So, up here and uh, check this thing out.
going to be playing the Eagle. Make some noise for the Eagle! <laughs> Eagle, Eagle. <laughs> okay, that's good. We're missing the most important person. Without any further ado, pull your hands together, scream and shout for Horns of the Elephant! <laughs> we are ready to go. But as long as you remember exactly what we have to do, audience, do you remember a person's a person? Never small. Horton, here's a who by Dr. Seuss. So Horton stopped splashing. He looked toward the sound. That's funny, thought Horton. There's no one around. Some sort of a creature of very small size, too small to be seen by an elephant's eyes. Some poor little person who's shaking with fear that he'll blow in the pool. He has no way to steer. Should I put this speck down? Horton thought with alarm. If I do, these small persons may come to great harm. I can't put it down, and I won't. After all, a person's a person. <laughs> Far, far beyond him, that eagle kept flapping, and over his shoulder, called back, Quit your yapping! I'll fly the night through on a boat, I don't mind it! And on heights is tomorrow, but you'll never find it, yeah! My friends! cried the elephant. Tell me, do tell! Are you safe? Are you sound? Are you whole? Are you well? Mr. Mayor! Mr. Mayor! Horton called. Mr. Mayor, you've got to prove now that you really are there. To the mayor, don't give up. I believe in you all. Because a person's a person. A person's a person. This, cried the mayor, is your town's darkest hour. The time for all who's who have blood that is red to come to the aid of their country, he said. They proved they are persons, no matter how small, and their whole world was saved by the smallest of all. All right, so pre dinner, we're doing a seafood check. So you can see here, so the prices come over here. Here's the pricing. Get an idea of everything. We're doing the shrimp and clam strip bucket thing. So, it's our appetizer. Alright, there's Bonsai. Anything for you? So, for dinner tonight, we're doing Bonsai. They gave us a complimentary vegetables. What are those like? Radishes? We got radishes, like carrots, yucca, it looks like, and cucumber. That's it, cucumber. Is it spicy? They look like they're pickled. Little pickles. Yeah. So, look like they're pickled, but getting lunch dinner here soon. So, if they're, you're trying sushi for the first time. What'd you get? California roll. California roll. It's a good choice. Good beginner sushi. Good beginner sushi. And you're getting California roll too? Wuss bag. Wuss. You can use the fork either way. Yeah, just however you want. I know you're gonna love it. You gotta go a whole thing. First time ever. Woo! I like it better with soy. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <coughs> a little crabby. A little crabby. Well, that's real crab in there. So. Movie night. Out by the pool. We're showing Jaws tonight, so if you're really brave, you get in the water. I'm kidding, no. It's it's gonna be Spider-Man Homecoming tonight. So. Alright, so tonight we ate at Bonsai. It was really good. We had a, had a ramen bowl and a spicy tuna sushi roll. But now we are outside on the deck. Waiting to catch a movie. They're playing Spider-Man Homecoming. So we'll watch a movie tonight. And then maybe call it a night. Tomorrow is Aruba. And we have a two snorkeling locations that we'll be visiting. One of them is a shipwreck from World War II. And pretty excited about it. So we'll 
check all that out. But until then, we'll see you in a little bit.